The Texas Rangers finally won their first World Series championship in the 2023 season, which means they can officially be crossed off the list of teams that have never won a World Series, which is kind of crazy to think about because the Rangers have been around since 1972 and even before that when their franchise was known as the Washington Senators dating all the way back to 1961. And they've had a ton of talented players come through this franchise and they've been close to winning the World Series before but they just couldn't get over the hump. But in 2023 with the help of World Series MVP Corey Seager, the Rangers finally got the job done. And because of that, they are gonna be the first team featured in my 2023 all-time team series. That's right, all-time teams are back. For anybody that's new to the channel and hasn't seen any of these videos, this is a series I do every year where I go through all 30 MLB teams and I build a Diamond Dynasty squad with some of the best and most influential players from that franchise's history. So no, this is not the best possible player at every single position. The way I like to build my all-time teams is I like to use players that have you know, long tenures or very impactful moments or just some sort of significant presence with the team. The easiest way to think about it, who do you think of when you think of that franchise? Chances are that player is probably gonna be on that team. With that being said, this is the offense for my 2023 all-time Rangers. This team starts behind the dish with Pudge. I know he does have a 99 home run derby card in the game, but I am actually gonna go with the 97 because I'm gonna be playing on Hall of Fame. So I would rather have the higher contact, the max clutch, and the better fielding on this card. At first base, I have 2023 finest Nathaniel Lowe. There's a few guys I was debating on at first base. I was thinking a guy like Prince Fielder, Mike Napoli, but ultimately I went with Nate Lowe because He's been really good in his time with the Rangers, and he's on a World Series winning team. As far as the rest of the infield, this gets really crowded really fast. I have Ian Kinsler at second, Michael Young at short, and Corey Seager at third, with Elvis Andrus at DH, and Marcus Semyon in the outfield. If you're gonna do an all-time Rangers team, I think you have to have some combination of these players. And this is already crowded, and we don't even have guys like Adrian Beltre or Buddy Bell in the game. If they were here, we'd be making some really tough decisions. Filling out the outfield though, I have Adolis Garcia and Nelson Cruz. On the bench, I have Alfonso Soriano, Jonah Heim, Mike Napoli, and Joey Gallo. Once again, there's plenty of guys that could fit on here, but there's only 13 spots on an offense. This is what I went with. As far as the starting rotation, I had to get some representation from the 2023 World Champion team. So I'm going Eovaldi and Montgomery. And the other three spots, I'm going Nolan Ryan, Yu Darvish, and Fergie Jenkins. Once again, plenty of guys that could be here. You could throw a guy like Lance Lynn in here if you want to, but this is just what I went with. And then we have the bullpen. Now you're gonna notice in these all-time team videos that the bullpens are gonna be a little bit off based off the way I like to build things. It's just hard to find a full bullpen with players that have a significant impact with the franchise just because of the players we have available in MLB The Show. Sometimes there's going to be guys on here that have hardly pitched, like Araldis Chapman has been here for, what, half a season? When it comes to the bullpen, I just try to fill in spots as best I can, and we just roll with it. Now, a couple things to know going forward with all-time teams. I know one question that I'm going to get in the comments uh, is what about captain boosts? You don't have any captains on this team. Well, I didn't know what I wanted to do with captains for this series, but ultimately I just decided that I'm gonna use captains when I feel like it's viable. And on the all-time Rangers, I don't really have a lot of reason to use captains. There's an Ian Kinsler captain for live series cards. There's a Corey Seager captain, but I wanna use his World Series MVP card. There is a Eovaldi card, which I could use that would boost up a lot of the pitchers, but I just don't even feel like it's worth it because I feel like a lot of these pitchers have attributes that wouldn't even really be affected that much by what Eovaldi can boost. So yeah, if I think it's beneficial to use a captain boost, I'll use it, but if not, I'm just gonna roll with the regular squad. And the last thing I wanna mention is the elephant in the room here. This team is obviously not eligible to be used in the current ranked season. I said it at the end of season four, I'm kind of over the sets and season stuff. So for a lot of these all-time teams, I'm gonna be playing friendly games against either viewers or other content creators. That way I can just use the cards I wanna use. I don't wanna wait until season six to start this. I always do it in November after Finest and the World Series content comes out. So I'm gonna stay with that. Now, if you wanna try to play against me in one of these all-time teams, 
go follow me on Twitter. I'm just gonna tweet out when I'm looking for a game. I know not everybody has Twitter, but this is just the easiest way for me to do it. So go follow me over there, turn on notifications, and respond to the tweet when I make it, and that's how you'll get a chance to play. So my opponent for this game is gonna be a viewer of mine named Ange Nation, who also happens to be a Rangers fan. So I'm taking on another all-time Rangers team, and he does have the Nathan Eovaldi boost on. One pitch, one out. All-time teams off to a great start. But I decided to go with Eovaldi because the first game I used him was actually insane. I did not expect him to do as well as he did. But I feel like I always start Nolan Ryan for this video. And, you know, Eovaldi's a World Series champion with the Rangers. We're going with him. Defending the plate pretty well with Seager. But we got him. Mm, nice swing. Found the gap. All right. If he is going to hit it to the outfield, I just want him to hit it to right or center. I don't want him hitting it to semi and then left. Full count on Nate Lowe. Come on. Give me a strikeout to get out of this. Let's go. What a pitch from Eovaldi. Let's get it started, Michael Young. I've actually never used this card. Gotta lay off that. Bad swing. It's time for the World Series MVP to do some damage. I thought that was a slider going outside the zone. No, 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 not like this. Come on. Nelson Cruz, did he get us on the board with an oppo bomb? Did he do it? No, but it is a two out double. Adolis Garcia, the ALCS MVP, cashes in the first run of the game. Damn, I tried to pull that. It's all good, though. We got a lead for Eovaldi. The other nice thing about doing these in friendlies is that I won't have to worry about any energy. So I can use starters out of the pen if I want to. I can kind of have free reign with the pitchers I choose to put out there. Oh, that was a bad pitch. I don't know how he missed that. Ooh, I think I have him actually set up pretty well for a slider underneath the zone. Come on, give me a swing it. That was not underneath. Samian. <laughs> I don't think he's going to make those plays. That's a huge out. Okay. I'm going to try to beat him with a fastball. We'll see what happens. That's a strike, but whatever. And he battles back to keep the at back going. Man, I had him too. Ooh, he's running. Semyon. I, I got to see the ball in the glove before I get excited. Out of baby. Marcus, how about you hit a home run so that way if you make a mistake in the field, it's already like canceling out. Do something well offensively. You might have got me. Go? Yeah, I swung. I swung. Ooh. Okay, I am not seeing Montgomery at all here in the second inning. Okay, you know what? Even though that wasn't the best swing, it was like a nine pitch at bat. At least I made him work a little bit in that last part of the inning. Down in the comments, I would love to know how you would have built the all-time Rangers differently. Ah, leadoff guy on. Would you have gone with more of an emphasis on the 2023 World Series team? Would you have changed up some of the players I started versus benched versus not included at all? Let me know. There were a couple positions where I was torn, like left field. I have Marcus Semien out there. I was thinking about starting... Soriano, but when I looked at the two of them side by side with their time with the Rangers, they have pretty similar numbers. Oh, come on, Kinsler, you got to make that play. But Semyon has played more games and will play more games. He has a higher OPS plus, so I went with him. Similar story at first base with Nate Lowe, obviously. That is off the wall. Okay, I got to stop talking about the comments and I got to try to get out of this inning because he just took the lead. Just let me know what you would have done differently. You know what? With a couple lefties coming up, I think this is actually a good time for me to go to Jordan Montgomery. Oh, man, I cannot get it out here. Need this double play. Come on. Uh, Nelson Cruz. I didn't get a perfect throw, but there's a chance. Oh, no. I got the animation on the wall. He didn't go. Woo! That's a missed opportunity from him. I think he gets there. Man, what a swing lefty lefty with Evan Carter. Dude, I cannot find an out pitch right now. I'm just going to go sinker. I don't know. It throws something and see what happens, I guess. Semyon, please don't let this fall. Don't do any weird. Sh okay. Okay. We're good. All right. Let's get back after it. Come on, Pudge. Maybe I should have used the home run derby card. 
Michael Young. He got a hanging changeup and he didn't miss it. The first home run of the all-time team series. Can we go back to back? Can we go back to back? Corey Seager picks up right where he left off from the World Series tie ball game. Ooh. Oh my, I thought it was, I thought it was a 2-1 count. Why am I pulling that? Take that oppo. That's the perfect right center home run pitch. Hey, we're through three innings and we've got a good one so far. No, no, we are not starting the fourth inning with a hit batter, especially not with somebody who's got wheels. Oh, I am giving him a fastball. Oh, Pudge, Pudge. That's why I have this Pudge. I told you the defense was a big deal on this card. Oh, imagine Corey reacted quicker. Is Montgomery okay? Injuries are off, so he should be fine. Where did he wear this? Oh, oh that hurt my knee. Garcia, this is staying in play. He should be able to make this grab. Yep. Oh, that was a full swing. Let's go. I'll take it. Let's get back in the lead here. Ooh. The game lagged. Oh man, I gotta stop getting fooled off that. I have six strikeouts against Montgomery, dude. There we go, Kinsler. That's the swing I like to see. Kinsler's got speed. If we can find a gap, he can score. Wow, that's a good pitch. I'm not even mad about that. That's a perfect pitch, dude. Top five, he has a couple lefties coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave Montgomery in for now, but I'm gonna get some other guys warmed up in the bullpen. I don't wanna just use starters. How about Jose Leclerc? I wanna try out this card. I'll get him warmed up. Man, 0-2, that's a good hit. Oh my God, Semi and I would love you forever. Look at him out there, dude. Who needs a real outfielder? Fastball up top, good pitch. I think he has some righties coming up. No, a couple switch hitters. Um, but both of these guys are technically weaker against righties. Let's go Leclerc. First time using this card. He does not have a sinker, but he does have a two seam, which could be used like one. Like that, good movement. Three, two, I'm gonna go cutter high and away. Not, was that 91? Come on, we got to get back in the lead. The pitching is holding it down. I mean, that's one way to get on base. Ooh, John Gray now. Ooh. I, I missed that. Yeah, right. Ooh. <laughs> so the slider got to what, 90? And that was 78? John Gray might be disgusting. Uh, stay at second. I mean, was, yeah, I got a bad, like, round at second base. It's all good. The inning continues for Garcia. Ooh. Dude, I literally cannot lay off that. Like, I'm always going to be early. Definitely a big slowdown from the offense on both sides here. This is going to be a gritty end of the game, man. We'll see who can scrap a few runs together. He's going to do it right away. Nice. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to try to overpower him here. He's ready for everything. Um, It might be time for me to go to a new arm. Let's go to Joe Nathan. Yeah, I mean, this is the difference. He was throwing me slow breaking pitches on the outside part of the plate and I was whiffing. I do the same thing and he crushes it. He's making me pay. Plenty of time to bring this back though. Okay, he's going to Cody Bradford right here with Nate Lowe at the plate. I think this is gonna be a spot where I... Okay, I guess I can't go to a righty yet. Let me go to freaking substitution menu, damn it. Uh, I think this is where I'm gonna go to Mike Napoli. I have another catcher on the bench in Jonah Heim if I need to take out Pudge, so let's do it. Dude, I gotta figure out my timing. Semyon. Oh my God, he was shaded over there. That might be caught. What? Why is that shift on Semyon, dude? I can't believe I got nothing that inning, dude. What? Hey, we got to fight through it. Let's go. Oh, 
Dude, I mean, oh, he's going to get a triple with Mike Napoli. Man, I mean, that's a good pitch, too. I'm going to go to Cody Bradford here, man. I cannot let this run score. Throw, putt. What the f Dude, why didn't he throw the ball? Did I accidentally throw cancel or something? Please get him, Pudge. Please get him. Oh, this is getting to be really bad really fast. This, this might get ugly, dudes. Um, I'm going to go to the cutoff, man, because he might try to take second if I go home. Yeah, I, I, I should have just went straight home. Oh, Garcia. What a play. We're going to get the double. For what it's worth, I didn't think he was tracking that down either. I probably would have made the same mistake on the base paths. Bro, I got to do something this inning. I haven't scored since Corey Seager's home run. Please be a hit. God, dude. It's not on it. This sucks. I'm going to Tom Hankey. I need a one, two, three inning so bad right here. I just can't keep him off the base paths, dude. Take the out of first. He ran. He has been aggressive on the base paths in this game. Mistake pitch. I would be shocked if Marcus Semyon could actually throw him out. He's going to take second. That's a big strikeout. There we go. Challenge him with the heat. Hey, man, we're running out of time. I, this feels unwinnable. First Semyon, then Kinsler. Now that? Well, ninth inning. Let's try to get these three outs, and maybe a miracle can happen in the bottom of the ninth. The good news is, for Rangers fans, you might think I let you down, but at least in this video, you saw somebody do well with an all-time Rangers squad, or at least a Rangers theme team. It just wasn't the guy you expected. There you go, Seeger. Good play. I am getting whooped. I feel like this is going to be a theme throughout this series, man. I feel like my viewers are so much better than I am at this game now. I'm probably going to get smacked a lot in this series. Strike him out, throw him out. At least Pudge did his job behind the dish in this game. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can make anything happen here. Of course, in the ninth inning, when I'm down seven, that's what I want to score again, right? Hey, maybe that's the catalyst. Let's go. But let's just see what happens. No, no. How do I miss that? Get by him. Uh, okay, this brings up Pudge. I'm going to pinch hit with Jonah Heim. Let's just get a switch hitter up in this spot, even though he does have lower contact against righties. Well, actually, the clutch would matter, so we're good. You know what? At the very least, even if I don't complete the comeback, at least I'm making this interesting. Ah, that's going to do it. Hey, GG's to Ange Nation. He showed up to play with his all-time Rangers team. I just couldn't stop him on the mound. He scored in every inning after the fifth, put up 19 hits. I couldn't keep him off the base paths. Tough start to all-time teams, man. 0-1, but it's okay. Like I said, at least somebody did well with the Rangers. Now, last year, at the end of each video, I did a wheel spin to determine who was going to be the next team in the series but i'm not gonna do that this year i'm just gonna pick who's next just because some cards on the market that i'm gonna need for this team are really expensive and there's not a lot of orders that go through for a lot of these older cards from previous sets so i'm gonna have to use my stubs wisely and hope that i get cards sold to me in the right spot so the next video is gonna be the other team in the world series the arizona diamondbacks